Welcome to pre math. In this video, we have got these uh, three codes A, B, A, C, and A, D put together inside the green circle, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, A is their common point, and moreover, this code A, B length uh, is five units. The code uh, A, C is uh, six units. And finally, this code uh, AD is being represented by lowercase x. And furthermore, uh, this angle uh, BAD and this other angle uh, CAD are uh, 30 degrees uh, each. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, code length uh, AD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I am going to connect uh, this uh, vertex uh, D with these uh, two other vertices B and uh, C. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, all these points. And finally, I have connected uh, these points B and C as well. And as a result, we got uh, this uh, triangle uh, B, C, D. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this angle uh, C, B, D and this uh, angle uh, B, C, D as well. And here's our next step. Let's recall uh, inscribed angles theorem. According to this theorem, inscribed angles that intercept the same arc uh, are uh, congruent. And now let's focus on this uh, arc uh, BD. This is uh, being subtended by this angle uh, 30 degrees uh, BAD. And likewise, this angle uh, BCD subtends the very same arc uh, BD. So therefore, if this angle is 30 degrees, uh, then this angle has got to be 30 degrees uh, as well. And likewise, let's focus on this uh, other arc uh, CD that is being subtended by this uh, angle uh, CAD, which is uh, 30 degrees. We can see that this very same arc is being uh, subtended by this angle uh, CBD as well. So therefore, if this angle is 30 degrees, then this angle has got to be 30 degrees uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BCD. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this uh, angle is equal to this uh, angle. Both of them are 30 degrees. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, side uh, CD is going to be equal to this uh, side uh, BD. So we conclude that this uh, BD length equal to CD length. These uh, two lengths. Let me label uh, this uh, side BD as uh, lowercase uh, a. Then this uh, CD length uh, is going to be lowercase a as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, shaded triangle uh, ABD, whose uh, side lengths are uh, 5, x, and lowercase a. And the angle is 30 degrees. And now let's recall the law of uh, cosines for this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And we got these uh, three law of cosines uh, for this uh, triangle. And we are going to apply them uh, on this uh, triangle uh, ABD. Here we can see our uh, side is lowercase a and this opposite angle is uh, 30 degrees. Therefore, if we apply the law of cosines uh, on this triangle ABD, we are going to have uh, a square equals uh, to we got uh, x uh, square plus uh, 5 uh, square minus uh, 2 times uh, x uh, times uh, 5 times uh, cosine of uh, 30 degrees. Let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, a square equal to x square plus uh, 25 minus uh, 10 times uh, x times uh, cosine of uh, 30 degrees. Let me label this our equation uh, number one. And now we are going to focus on the other triangle uh, ACD whose uh, side lengths uh, are uh, 6x uh, 
lowercase a and once again the angle is 30 degrees and we are going to apply the law of cosines uh, on this uh, triangle as well so therefore we can write uh, a square equal to x square plus uh, 6 uh, square minus uh, 2 times uh, x times uh, 6 uh, times uh, cosine of uh, 30 degrees let's simplify we can write this one as uh, a square equal to x uh, square plus uh, 36 uh, minus uh, 12 times uh, x uh, times uh, cosine of uh, 30 degrees i'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number two and now we can see we are ended up with these uh, two equations equation one and two and now we are going to compare these two equations we can see that uh, their left hand sides are uh, identical so therefore we can equate uh, their right hand sides uh, as well so therefore i can write uh, x square plus uh, 25 minus uh, 10 x times uh, cosine of uh, 30 degrees is going to be equal to x uh, square plus uh, 36 minus 12 times uh, x times cosine of 30 degrees and now we can see this x square and this x square is uh, gone and at the very same time i am going to move this uh, 25 uh, on the right hand side and that's uh, negative 12x times cosine of 30 degrees uh, i'm going to move it in the opposite direction so therefore we can write uh, 12x uh, times uh, cosine of uh, 30 degrees minus uh, we have 10 times x times uh, cosine of uh, 30 degrees equals to we got uh, 36 uh, minus uh, 25 and now we can see we got these uh, identical terms so we are simply going to subtract them therefore if we subtract we are going to get uh, 2x uh, times uh, cosine of uh, 30 degrees equal to 11 on the right hand side and now we can see that cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore i am going to replace this uh, cosine of 30 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore left hand side is going to become 2x times uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 equals to 11 and now we can see this 2 and 2 is gone so therefore we are ended up with the x times the square root of 3 equals to 11 and now i am going to divide both sides by square root of 3 to isolate x this is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 11 divided by square root of 3 so thus our x value turns out to be 11 divided by square root of 3 and now we are going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying and dividing by square root of 3 so i'm going to multiply and divide by square root of 3 and now we can see square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give us uh, simply 3 so therefore our x value turns out to be 11 times the square root of uh, 3 divided by 3 units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be 11 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 6.35 units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye